Like, I became way too obsessive with these two picks over the past week. Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another video and so for today it was supposed to be a pin spinning video but, but, I got distracted because I saw this video from TikTok. That's pretty cool, right? Yeah, I thought so too and well, I guess I got distracted by it and I decided I'll learn how to shoot a toothpick from my fingers instead. So to start off, you want to hold the toothpick between your index and thumb. And from there, you will take your middle finger and you put it under the toothpick. And then you rest the ring finger on top of the toothpick like that. You could turn it over like this and you just do a flicking motion with your middle finger. You'll basically be plucking like how you pluck is literally just like that. And so now that we know how to shoot a toothpick from our fingers, I guess we could go ahead and try to learn how to do this. And my goal for today is shoot a total of four toothpick and have it stick onto something. And I know what you're thinking, right? Like only four toothpick, that's kind of weak. And yeah, it's true. It is kind of weak and it's a low amount, but I think it's reasonable. And here's the reason why I'll be planning on shooting the toothpick into a plastic plate or a core board, whichever stick. And I think that's going to be really difficult because I try to shoot the toothpick with just like throwing it like full force with how I throw a dart. Well, I don't even know how to throw a part, but I assume like, you know, just do the motion of how you throw a dart. But yeah, it still wouldn't even stick. And with that, I think four will be quite a bit of an amount, but we're still going to try it anyways. And so with that, we'll just go ahead and start practicing the thingy McBobber. Shooting of the toothpick. And so that last toothpick shot was pretty good, right? It came out my hand really nice and the toothpick was flying like a bullet or like a straight dart into the cardboard. The only thing was it didn't stick, but that's okay. I think I just need to add a little bit more force. The good news is shooting the toothpick and holding that toothpick that way, it seems to work because it does shoot out like a dart kind of like or like a bullet. Bad news. Well, the bad news, I'll, I'll just show you. So it's been about an hour and a half and I'm starting to think that this thing isn't going to work on a plastic plate or a cardboard. I think, I mean, at least for me, I don't think it will work. It's, you know, an hour and a half of shooting the toothpick, I feel like it would at least like just one stick, but it didn't. And you know, yeah, I'm starting to lose my morale. I was like this close to stopping. I was like really close. I was about to quit about to start back on my pin spinning video but um yeah the one thing i keep telling like you guys in the comments when you guys learning like the pin trick let's say just keep pressing forward just keep pressing forward and i kind of got to do the same right i can't just tell you guys to do it and i stop here and so yeah i forced myself to continue to try to learn this toothpick thing and i forced myself to try to learn how to shoot this toothpick correctly and meet my goal and you know What's the best thing about pushing yourself forward? This kind of thing happens. Oh. <laughs> he got it! That first one right there. Oh, God. Oh! Two in a row. <laughs> Two in a row. And so, yeah, I was like super excited when that actually happened. You could hear it in a voice in the video. And I know for sure now, like 100% sure that getting the toothpick to stick in the plate actually works. And so now I have no excuse. I kind of got to finish this video off now. And so I started to continue to practice even more. I would say an additional 30 more minutes. And I started getting used to shooting a toothpick and holding it a certain way and getting more comfortable with holding the toothpick in my hand. So it's not feeling as awkward anymore. I started to be able to actually shoot the toothpick and have it stick to the plate more often than not.
And so right when I thought I got it all down and I'm able to shoot the toothpick more consistently, I came across another problem. And that problem is going to hurt my progress in terms of actually making my goal. And that's because when I shoot my first toothpick, it sticks to the plate. And when I shoot the second toothpick, well, that second toothpick kind of knocks down the first toothpick. And that happens a lot. And so, of course, with that, it makes me practice trying, not even practice, like, I started, like, flicking my hand harder to try to get the toothpick to stick in the plate, like, farther in so that it will have a hard time popping off or coming off when the second toothpick hits the plate. And so, as I started to flick my wrist a little bit harder, you know what happens? Well, if you think about it, shooting the toothpick into a plastic plate is already hard, but you know what's even harder? shooting it into a cardboard and that kind of happened and so yeah i'm able to kind of shoot the toothpick into the cardboard and it's like really hard to do but i sometime managed to do it because i guess i started to flick the toothpick a lot harder now and you don't have that flick of my wrist added on to it as well and so with all of that i guess there's really nothing else to practice than to actually try to make the goal of having four toothpick stick to the plate or cardboard at the same time without it falling Ooh. Oh! <laughs> I hit it so hard, I actually hit it through the cardboard. Oh! Another one in the cardboard. Oh! Got it! Four of them! Woo. So after about 3 hours and 48 minutes, I managed to reach my goal of making the four toothpick sticks to a plate or cardboard. And you know, I still get super excited when I get the toothpick to stick into the cardboard because that's like really hard to do. And I can't believe I got 3 out of 4 to stick to the cardboard by the end of the video, so that's pretty awesome. And well, I guess you could say, did I actually learn how to flick the toothpick into like objects? I guess if the objects is like, you know, softer, I don't know, like maybe foam, I'll be able to do it more often. But if it's like harder surfaces, like the plastic plate or the cardboard, it will take a lot of time. So I really don't know if I could say that I learned how to shoot a toothpick from my fingers because it's not consistent on certain objects and I wanted to get to that certain object. So I'll just leave that up to you for today's my I'll leave that up to you to decide. And so that's pretty much all I have for today. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you show it by hitting the like and subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and until next time.